My name is Andy, I built PCs, and this is Andy's PCs. Today we're going to be going over a specific motherboard. This is just a little rundown, it's going to be kind of quick, uh, but this is the Machinist B450 AM4-A. Um, so this is specifically an AliExpress motherboard. I will show you the box here. So uh, this seems to be very prevalent. There's a lot of people who are buying these. There's a lot of people who have them in their carts. A lot of people are looking at them. So this is a quick rundown video for anybody who's looking to purchase. And from what I have seen, this actually is the one of the cheapest AM4 mother, motherboards that you can get a hold of. Uh, it's very good quality for the price. Uh, on AliExpress, I got it for about $47, I think. Um, that's even less than what is on Amazon. They cost about $60, that is before taxes, uh, and that is the ASRock B450M. Uh, I forgot the other one. It's like R4.0 HVS, R-4.0, something like that, don't quote me. Um, but that runs you about $70, so, you know, when you're paying $20 less, what's the takeaway? What are you getting that's less? Um, what are you getting that's more? Is there any performance gain? Uh, what are you getting out of this Chinese brand that you getting that you're getting shipped from AliExpress? Well, I'm also here to tell you that there is really nothing different from this motherboard and an ASRock motherboard. Uh, they're both doing the same thing from all my research and all the specs on this board. Um, if anything, I think this has a couple more features, like one or two features. And just by that, I mean, it has, I believe, two or three more SATA ports on the motherboard. Um, but so let's go, let's do a quick rundown. Uh, as you can see, I have a Ryzen 5 3600 sitting in this motherboard. I don't really want to take it out, but I will unlatch it for you guys to see. So there is the CPU, a perfect condition CPU. Um, it just drops in like that. Oh, I can't mess this up now. Come on guys. Believe in me. There we go. Got it in. Oh, it should be pretty snug like that. It should be like wiggling a little bit. Yep. Anyways, so that's a little CPU installation. So we have the fan one. So this is for the CPU is going to be for your cooler fan that's on top. And there's your system fan one. So you're only going to have two of these. You only have one system fan and one CPU fan. Uh, the way to get around this on most motherboards this is not just for this is to get a daisy chain and just chain your fans together to this one port or to molex uh, it's really up to you and just like lots of b450 motherboards that i see we have a four pin cpu power uh, this is really good so you i believe it says it can go up to 95 tdp um, it can run a lot of cpus it can run all your ryzen's so uh, this can run from Ryzen 1000 to 5000 series. Uh, so the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth gen Ryzen, all the way up to like the CPUs you see, like the Ryzen 5 5500, the Ryzen 7 5800, uh, things like that. And the Ryzen 3 40 something, 4350, I can't remember. But yeah, it's gonna fit anything AM4 socket. It is quite perfect. And in the RAM slot, that brings me to that you can run uh, up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz. So don't ever stress, you have two slots. You can just run a clean 16 gigabytes in here. You'll be good to go. Make sure you do your XMP. This has a little BIOS as well that lets you do your XMP to get to 3200 megahertz. If you are not by default, um, there's no problems going to BIOS and changing a lot of stuff. There is your CMOS battery for your BIOS and there are your ports as well you guys want to get a little clear view on those ports you got two usb 2.0 uh two usb 2.0 on the bottom and then you have usb 3.0 you got two of those in the middle hdmi dvi ethernet and your audio um if you guys have watched my other motherboard rundown guide you'll know that this is not too important you don't need to worry about this uh, because you have your front panel audio. So just showing you guys all these little ports up close so you can see them. Uh, there's your M.2. You know, you can fit all your SSDs there. Perfect. 
All of these SATA ports are SATA 3.0, six gigabits per second. So do not worry if you need to plug anything into here. Don't worry about those slow speeds like I mentioned in my previous video. Uh, I'm a little bit all over the place, but this is uh, just a very quick rundown. It's not really a very descriptive guide. It's just for this motherboard. Um, front to audio, and we got your CMOS jumper. So if anybody is kind of like a no, needs to do that and you know how to do that, that is there for you. There's your USB 3.0, your PCI 1X slot, and front USB panel right there. So you can plug all your USBs. This is not important, it says speaker one. It's, this is gonna be your audio up here, the speaker. And then the front panel ports. So you guys, this is really awesome. Uh, let me get my ugly thumb out of the way. I don't want you guys to see that. <laughs> but as you can see for the front panel, there is a label for that. So do not worry about, uh, they don't send you a manual. The only thing they send you with this motherboard is the shroud, the little back plate which is brand new it's really nice um you get this here though it doesn't come with an instruction manual so you have a panel printed on the circuit board a printed circuit board with a circuit printed on the circuit board or something like that but yeah front panel uh very easy power led hdd led power on and your reset everything very easily accessible and color coded the way i like it but um that is pretty much all the features on this motherboard. There's really not much more to go over. Uh, there's your 24 pin as well. And let me show you guys the back of the motherboard. Yeah, doesn't that look beautiful? We live in a beautiful day and age, you guys. If you wanna build a very budget PC, I do 100% recommend this. Uh, super cheap AM4 socket. I believe these are going for around $51, something like that on AliExpress right now. Um, but, super cheap throw something like a 3600 in there or a 4500 if you want to get a brand new cpu that's just around 80 dollars uh it's very good very very good value for the money you get some cheap ddr4 uh 16 or 32 if you're really trying to run something good you can totally get 32 in here i think that would work just suprendo um but other than that throw a cheap 16 gig kit do not use eight that is no no that is no go uh but 3200 megahertz runs very great with this ryzen cpu does not ask for much more to extract all that juice out of the performance but anyways guys if you want to see more motherboard rundowns more gpu reviews more computers and cheap builds please subscribe to the channel uh, i am releasing more videos daily i'm uploading shorts of lots of computer parts computer builds i will be uploading more often guys Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you did it. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, good evening, or a good morning, wherever you are. Peace.